Welcome to how to bulk convert queries to reports using Cognos Toolkit. In this video, I'll show you how to use Cognos Toolkit to bulk convert Query Studio query objects into report objects. First, we'll use the Cognos Toolkit inventory feature to locate the queries we're interested in, and then we'll use the convert feature to convert those queries to reports. Cognos Analytics 11 enables an administrator to convert legacy Query Studio query objects to Report Studio reports on a query by query basis via the context menu. But if we have a large number of queries to convert, this can become a challenge. With Cognos Toolkit, we can do this. In this exercise, I have Cognos Toolkit installed on my Cognos 11.1 .1 server, and from there I'll access my 11.0 server where I have my target queries. Please see our other video on installing Cognos Toolkit. We'll first take a look in our C11 portal to see the contents that we have there. Here we are and I'm just browsing in the team content area and I'm in a folder where I have a number of subfolders and the one I'm mainly interested in is this one where I have three Query Studio reports. We can go ahead and check the properties and see that uh, the object type here is a query. So the goal here is to go ahead and convert these uh, three Query Studio queries into report objects. Flipping back to our Cognos uh, Toolkit, we're already logged into Cognos Toolkit as our Cognos Administrator, and we'll go straight to Content Store Inventory, and you can see we're here, and where what we can do here is we can search on objects based on the entire Content Store, browse just certain public folders, or look at all of the users' My Folders. For what we want to do here, we're going to browse public folders. We're now sending a query out to the target uh, Cognos instance where I will browse down into public folders. There's my target folder. And what I want to do, say that I don't know where all of my queries are and I'm just doing a search. What we can then do, we can see that Cognos Toolkit allows us to search on a large number of object types. Uh, we're interested in queries, but we can also search on reports. Based on the object type that we're searching for, we have all of these search attributes that we can specify that we can use for other purposes. Uh, what we're interested in today, though, is queries. And you can see, so I select queries and the search attributes change as appropriate. I'm just going to take the defaults there. I'm just trying to locate the queries um, so that I can convert those to reports. I've selected that. Uh, my target folder, I'll just go ahead and make sure I have my CT demo selected and I will submit. That What that's doing is that's sending out a query. You can see that's come back already. We were told that we had our query was searching and we get our results back. So here's a list of all of the query objects found in subfolders uh, or in that folder itself uh, that we're looking for. So I can see all of those results. In this case, I know I have some other folders here. I don't, I'm not interested in those ones today. I just want to narrow down. So I'll actually just go back and I'll select the, just the one folder that I'm interested in, and I'll do a fresh query just to narrow down my search. So what I'm doing here is I have in my search results, I have just the three that I'm interested in changing. We can see I've got no error on this. Uh, I've, I've got my objects back fine. So now that we have identified the queries we're interested in, we can move on to the conversion. In order to convert, we move over to the Cognos Toolkit Manage and Conversions tab. And the conversions, similar to the way we just do our inventory searching, we can, select, we can do our conversions based on the entire content store, on certain public folders, on my folders, or as we see here, there's additional options for us. We can also take the results of the uh, inventory query that we've done, that cached results, and have that as our input. What I'm then going to do, the, the conversion that we're interested in doing on those search results is a convert from query to report. We can see that other conversions we can do. Uh, if we were selecting reports, uh, we could convert those from limited interactivity to full interactivity and vice versa, also known as classic viewer and interactive viewer. Uh, but what we're focused on today is converting from queries to reports. We have an option, the default is to find only, so rather than making a change in the content store, uh, it will only do a find. But in this case, I'm certain that I want to change these three reports right now. So I uncheck that, 
And what we do is we keep those queries in place. So what we're doing, going to do is create new, new report objects off of these queries and leave those queries there for cleanup later uh, because we may want to keep those as backups. So I'm just providing, just for, for purposes here, I'll put an R underscore as a prefix uh, so that the new report object has a R underscore prepended to the query name. And we'll go ahead and take those results. We'll submit that. And at this point, the Cognos Toolkit is sending a request to the content store and making the modifications to those. We get back our results and we can see that we have a success on those three objects. So at this point, uh, we know that we've got our new conversions in place. We can flip back over to the content store. I'll just do a, a fresh, um, a refresh here. Oops. I'll go back in fresh and we can see that we now have the new report objects. And of course, that's the query icon and the report icon. And we can go ahead and run one of those new reports that we've just created, making sure that everything is uh, as we expect it to be uh, viewed as a report. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you'd like to hear more about Cognos Toolkit, please check the links below or reach out to us at diagtool at ca.ibm.com. Thanks very much.